Um, who's here this morning? I got Devin. Morning, Devin. Jennifer. Hello, hello. Gretchen. Diane. Hopefully everybody's signing on right now. Good to see you guys all. I am going to jump right in without doing too much with the good mornings because everybody's got places to be, but it's good to see you. This is a show we call Breakfast with Disaster. Every weekday, every Tuesday at 10, 10 a.m., I should say, 10, 10 a.m. Tuesdays, we are here to tell you about all the terrible things that can go wrong so that you can make sure they don't happen to you. And if you're wondering, you know, what the heck do you know about what can go wrong? Uh, my name is Dan Bauer. I'm with ServPro of the South Towns, ServPro of West Seneca, Lancaster, and our whole deal, our whole job is helping people with disasters, fire, water, mold. If it's gross, catastrophic, or both, uh, we are kind of on it. And... Every week, we're here on the show, we do a drawing for the Serve Pro Mug Club. And if you're not a part of the Mug Club, comment on the post here. Make sure that you get your name in, because it's great, it's free, it's awesome. You get a cool coffee mug, and you're also eligible for the drawing every week. And if you're watching, and we draw your name, then you will get a double prize. So if you're here, you're part of the Mug Club, make sure that you comment. Just say good morning so that I know you're here, because if I draw your name... And you didn't comment, I have no idea. You will not get your double prize. It will be very sad, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, <clears throat> I have a question for you guys, and you're going to think it's a trick question, and I swear that it's not. It's a simple question. How much is a teddy bear worth? And you guys can, can make your guesses. If you go on Amazon and you look up a teddy bear, you can get like a pretty good one for $15. This is a Build-A-Bear, so they're a little fancier, schmancier, and you can and record your voice on a little heart that you put inside. There's a whole deal that you do, and those are like 30 40 bucks. But how much does a teddy bear cost? Not that much in the grand scheme of things. But imagine that you have a, a daughter who is like four years old, and she loves her teddy bear. She carries it around everywhere she brings it to school she brings it to bed she brings it to the doctor's office so she's not scared and you know for the purposes of argument we're also going to assume that you love your daughter and you want her to be happy um if your daughter loses that teddy bear she's totally inconsolable she is all of a sudden no longer at home in this world she's alone how much is that teddy bear worth to you you might not have a number in mind but it's going to be pretty high. You might even say it's priceless because it's more than a bear at that point. It's more than a possession. It's more than a thing. It's literally the feeling of being at home uh, for your daughter, who, again, we're assuming that you, you love and care about and want to be happy. Um, the reason I bring this up, this is an example that I sometimes use when we're talking about like fire cleaning. Because a lot of what we do here at Surf Pro is not just about cleaning your textiles or your clothing or your structure or even doing repairs. It's about giving that feeling of home back to people. And that can happen in ways big, of small, big and small. Obviously, if we repair your home after a fire, then we have given you your home back. If we, we recently rush clean somebody's communion dress so her daughter could have her communion... That was kind of giving a feeling of home back because it was letting them go on with their life as normal um, without disruption, even in the face of this disaster. But the reason I bring this up is not because I want to talk about ServPro, just to show that I know how important it is for somebody to have that feeling of home. What I actually want to talk about is a new initiative that we are kind of really hitting this week um, that is really kind of ramping up, and that is called Valentine's for Our Troops. Um, and it's something, this is the first time we're doing it. I'm hoping it's not the last. I'm hoping it can get bigger and bigger. But right now, uh, we're just sort of ramping it up for February. And here are the basics. You can see there are a couple of logos here. Um, down in the bottom left, you've got the Blue Star Mothers. And there's a local chapter. It's the New York number 7 chapter of Blue Star Mothers. And it's a group of mothers and grandmothers and stepmothers, foster parents. Uh, any female legal guardian of a military service member can be a member of the Blue Star Mothers. And they meet every month to support each other, but to also to find ways to support their children in the military and just military service members kind of all over the world, as well as veterans. It's an awesome group. I worked with them through the Western New York Insurance Association a couple of months ago, and I wanted to work with them again because they're just the they're, they're incredibly nice, and what they do is awesome, and I just figured it, you know, they would be a great group to give back to. 
Um, one of the major things they do, among other things, is they create these We Care packages, is what they call them. And these are packages designed to, to go with the theme, to give people sort of a feeling of home, no matter where they're stationed all over the world. You can see this is a picture of a group of service members. I'm, they're on base here, and they are eating, if you can see. The picture is a little small, so it's okay if you can't. Paul's Donuts. And the reason they send something like Paula's Donuts is not just because those donuts are good, they're very good, they're very large, but because it's something that will give somebody that feeling of home, which when you're stationed halfway around the world in a place where maybe people don't speak your language, where your every single day can be very, very tough, having that feeling of home, if only for a second, can be what gets you through. And I thought that, you know, working with them, seeing them do this on a consistent basis, they do this all the time, they meet every month, um, was incredible. And I wanted to find a way to support that. And what I wanted to do was not just donate and sort of uh, help them to put those We Care packages together, but I wanted to find a way to bring the community in a little bit so that we could show the service members that the whole community is thinking about them. The whole community kind of wants to help them feel at home and bring some of Western New York to wherever they are. And that's where the school comes in. The West Seneca Central School District really has been a huge help in this, um, working with their superintendent over there, Dr. John Cervoni, and a lot of his principals and teachers. We came up with the idea to have the kids create tons and tons of these handmade Valentine's cards that are going to go out with these packages in February. And I don't want to count our chickens before they hatch or anything, but we're expecting lots of cards, lots of classrooms. I mean, they got behind this in a huge way, really wanted to be a part of this kind of service initiative. And between Serve Pro kind of providing donations, West Seneca, uh, excuse me, West Seneca Central Schools providing those cards, and of course, Blue Star Mothers really being the core part of this, putting those packages together and, and finding people to ship them off to and getting those in the hands of service members. They're the backbone of everything. Um, we decided we were going to call this Valentine's for our troops. And it's, like I said, the first time we're doing this, but I'm really excited about it. It's special to me because, again, you know, I see this every day, and the idea behind it isn't just, you know, shipping off care packages. It's giving somebody a feeling of being at home no matter what they are. In, in this case, we're trying to bring that feeling of home to them through the care packages, through the Valentines, through everything sort of coming together. So I think that's cool. And I hope that you think it's cool, because there are opportunities for more people to be involved. Um, the main thing is just trying to send as much in the way of donations as we can because the more that we can collect and send together as a community the um you know the more people we can reach uh individual service members as well as whole units all over the world will receive these so if you want to support us you want to support the blue star mothers which again great organization local to western new york here the new york seven chapter here's how you can do it can bring donations to to me or I can come to you. We'll work something out. Uh, our warehouse here is in Hamburg, um, 97 Evan Street. You can give us a call at 716-646-6684 if you want to arrange a pickup or a drop-off. You can email me. You can comment on this post. I'll get into contact with you. Here are the things that they're looking for that are going to go into these care packages. And again, these are things that are designed. They're things that you can't really get. Um all over the world you can't easily get if you're deployed somewhere and the sort of things that are going to give people a feeling of comfort of being at home and it's it's a pretty simple list and i already put it in the comments individually packaged cookies fruit cups with pop tops cans of chips pop tarts and beef jerky as well as just drink packets you can add to water. This is all easy, simple stuff that you and I take for granted, that if you're able to help us put these packages together, it goes a long way towards making someone feel a little bit happier, a little bit more at home, no matter where they're deployed. So again, we're going to already be putting a ton of donations together. West Seneca Central Schools have been great helping us connect with teachers and classrooms so that kids can make these cards to send. Blue Star Mothers, like I said, they're doing the brunt of the work, putting these packages together and shipping them off. But if you want to get involved, if this seems like something that you think, wow, that's a cool idea, I do want to support the troops, 
talk to me. We'll find a time to set up a donation. Um, you can either drop it off here. I'll pick it up. We'll figure something out. I would love it if you did. Um, that's Valentine's for our troops. We were collecting this week. The deadline is February 2nd because I'm going to deliver everything February 3rd. So it's about a week and a couple of days. February 3rd is next Thursday, so I would need them by next Wednesday. So hopefully that helps you. You know, if you need to do a little bit of scheduling, figure out when you're going to do it. If this is the week where we're really collecting. So would love for you to get involved. I'm going to check the comments here and just give everybody a good morning before we do our prize. Uh, good morning, Kathy, Lisa, Jennifer, Nikki, Kathy, Katie. Nice to see you again, Katie. Jackie, Christy, Lynn, Kristen, Nicole, good morning, everybody. Get your good mornings in because we're going to do our prize drawing right now. And if you missed the top of the show, this is for the Serve Pro Mug Club. If you're not a part of the Mug Club, I don't know why not at this point. Um, it's free. You get a cool coffee mug and you're eligible for this prize drawing every week, Tuesdays at 10, 10 a.m. on Breakfast with Disaster. And if you are watching and I know you're watching and I draw your name, you will get a double prize. The only way for me to know is if you comment. So comment, say good morning, say anything, tell me the weather. Um, anything so that I know that you're there. So I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to comment while I pull up the prize wheel. And we are going to do this drawing. We have a lot of new members, by the way. We are on, I believe, 220 members. We are blowing up over here. See, this wheel is getting a little congested. All right, comment, comment, comment. Remember to comment. I'm doing the drawing right now. Spin, spin, spin. Three hundred and thirty-three. That is a good, lucky, auspicious number. That's Mercedes at Mary Alice Ubal State Farm. Mercedes, if you are watching, uh, I think you know we'll probably send Tyler over. Come pay you guys a visit and, and make sure you get your prize. So Mercedes, if you're watching, make sure that you comment. So that I know you're watching in case you get your double prize. Um, congratulations, Mercedes. I had a couple of questions about the donations from Jennifer and Christy. Um, Jennifer said, my kids go to Allendale. I'm going to see if they're doing this and we'll donate. Lots of people at Allendale are, are participating. I have the names of some of the teachers. Even if you know your kids aren't in a classroom that's participating, we may be able to help them arrange a donation. Uh, Jennifer, I will shoot, I'm putting a note down, I'll shoot you an email after this, we'll figure something out, I can give you a list of the teachers who I know are participating for sure. And Christy says, how do we package the items for the troops, do we put them in a box or basket or wrap them, just anything, we're going to be, or Blue Star Mothers really is going to be doing the wrapping and the packaging and everything, just bulk donation, we can handle the logistics, want to make it as easy as possible. Christy, I will also, we owe you a visit anyway, I will talk to you about that after this. So anybody else who wants to... Get involved with Valentine's for our troops. Let me know. You can comment here. Call me. Number is 716-646-6684. Email. I'll put it in the uh, notes here as well. Sales at serveprothesouthtowns.com. We will help. That, you know, We appreciate the help. It is awesome if you guys want to get involved. And again, deadline is February 2nd. So thanks, everybody. We're going to wrap up the show for now. It has been a pleasure being with you guys today. Uh, we will see you next Tuesday at 10, 10 a.m. for our next Breakfast with Disaster. Until then, cross your fingers, nothing goes wrong. Um, Dan Bauer with Serve Pro of the South Towns and Serve Pro of West Seneca, ugh, West Seneca Lancaster. Should be able to say that. And it's uh, been fun, guys. Have a good day.